narrow base of support, he's really wobbly. So this is a really, these will be really good because not only do you get balance, but you get stability, which is strength, because you're doing isometric muscle contraction. So it's like a twofer. So I would initially, though, have him somewhere where I could be guarding him with the gate belt if it's a second visit, and something that he can at least finger touch. So parallel bars, a table, and somewhere quiet that he can concentrate. So can you stand up for me, please? <laughs> Notice how she didn't reach for the bars to stand up. That's also a good technique. A lot of people tend to reach for these to pull themselves up. He might not, but you never know. So, so I want the chair closed. He's 200 pounds. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not strong enough to catch him. So I want him close to this in case he has to get fatigued. If he gets fatigued, he needs to go down. So <clears throat> I'm going to lightly touch the bar for me with both hands. His left is his weak side, that's the side I'm on, and I want him to be able to hear me, and I want him to be able to see me, I can move into his line of vision, okay? So I'd like you to bring your feet together for me, just keeping a light touch on those upper arm. And then I want you to look straight ahead for me. And then I just want to see how he does in terms of sway, how long can he hold this position without having to, you know, white knuckle the bar. <clears throat> so <laughs> she's closing her eyes. But and that's the next progression. You can have them close their eyes when they're doing this. And if that's a little too much, go ahead and just bring your feet apart again for me. Just have them stand regular, close their eyes, because we obviously did have a problem with that. Go ahead and close your eyes for me. You can let go of the bar. And I've just got my hand back here. I'm not actually gripping the belt. If they start to sway, I've got my fingers close so I can grab it like that. <laughs> Don't open your eyes. And then that foam pad is back there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Obviously, I'd already have it. So I'd like you to stand up on this foam pad. Just do a little sidestep. And this one, I'm actually. Hold of that bar. Good. Yep. This is just a little bit of an unstable surface. So, again, stability, ankle, ankle stabilizers are working. Look up. <laughs> Everybody looks down at their feet. Your feet aren't going anywhere. So, now what I want you to do is open your eyes. <laughs> That's what I would have them do if they were doing okay right here. Put your fingers on the bar for me and look at me. Perfect. Now look to your right. A little tiny perturbation there. So if somebody calls their name, what do you do? You look around. I don't want him to look and lose his balance. So I want to train him how to look and be able to adjust. Good. That's it. Alright, kind of similar to Heather's intervention, we're going to be using the pad. So, alrighty. So, alright, so for this we're going to be using the parallel bars. So, I'm going to have you come on in here, find your balance. You can use the bar if you need to, um, lightly touch it. Um, if you're a little shaky, then I'll, I'll kind of be here to help you out with that, okay? What we're going to be doing is have you stand on this pad and then find your balance once again. Let go of the bar. I'm going to have you close your eyes. I'm going to have you stand there for a second. And I might give you a nudge or two just to see if you can adjust yourself. Okay? in here. 
you can step on that. Find your balance. You can let go of the bars. Feeling all right? All right, and close your eyes. Good. Okay, you can open your eyes, grab the bar again, and step off the mat. All righty, for the next one, we're gonna have you practicing some gait. We're gonna start with you walking. You can keep your eyes down so you can keep track of yourself, and then I'm gonna want you to practice keeping your eyes up. And then to increase the difficulty, I'll have you look left to right. Keep your eyes up. And let's look left to the right as you're walking. Right, left, left, right. And let's do it one more time. We'll go up to the chair. Look left. Turn around and grab a seat. Good seat. All right. <clears throat> so for this one, I'm going to have you weaving in and out of the cones. I want you to practice doing your, your normal gait pattern with your cane. That's going to be cane and bad foot forward, and then moving the good foot with it. Okay? So you're just going to be doing that. Great, Scruffy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>